I mean, you know, when I'm talking about ideas that I have in mind and that aren't really good for humanity, well, yeah, I, I just can't help myself, so please. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Hey guys! So, yet again, I bought something really big, heavy, expensive, but not necessarily useful item. And since this is a really sunny day, I thought you might appreciate to go on a ride with me. So let me just hook the trailer to the car and yeah, off to the Autobahn, I guess. <laughs> This was just a really quick stop at the local wood supply, um, getting us some construction wood. You will see what that is for, I guess, in a future video. But now we're heading straight to the destination. Follow me. Okay, so for one reason or the other, I wasn't allowed to film a video while we were loading the, the robot. And this is how it looks right now. The last step is to get it home to the company. I'll just leave it there for, for the evening. So welcome back, um, it's actually like three days later and I finally got the chance to give it a closer inspection. So truth be told, I have no real idea what I bought, I just bought it because I had the opportunity. Uh, let's crack open the switching cabinets, have a look at the li like license plate and see what we got here. All right, so let's get started with the absolute obvious things I can see. Uh, this robot is a KUKA. So it seems to have a six axis configuration. So there is A1 that is the swivel base. A2 is the main arm, which is uh, like this pivot point. Then there's A3, you may see that up there. There's another pivot point and all these three servos um, control the front unit where there's one rotation, there's a second rotation, and there's a third rotation. That is a four, five, and six. You can see this is a KUKA KR125L90-1. It is built in 1998 and it is around a metric ton. I don't know exactly why there are two numbers. It may be with the tool that it was originally supplied with, or it could be the base it is mounted on. I don't have that on the trailer, but I will be getting that in the next weeks. So the first three axes, A1, A2, and A3, seem to have identical servo motors. And these are brushless, uh, three and a quarter kilowatts. Um, and they seem to have obviously a large gear reduction inside. Um, the servos on all the other axes, A4 to A6, are a little bit smaller ones. They are just shy of 3 kilowatts in power and are mounted up here. Um, I will be chasing down some drawings because I'm quite interested on how they mounted the servos up here and brought all the moving parts up to here. We'll have a look at that and how they engineered that. On this side we can have a little bit of a closer look into the um, 
mechanical system behind the A2 axis. Um, what all of that is, I could only guess, but we'll have a look at the drawings if I, if I can find these. So in the documentation, um, I don't seem to find all the information I need. Also, this happens to be um, the KR125L90-2. I got the dash one in here, so I don't really know where the um, what kind of a difference the last digit does. Um, but as you can see, this corresponds with this line in the in the table. So as you can see, payload uh, is 90 kilograms, supplementary load 120, so total distributed load 210 kilograms. Um, with this diagram, you can see all the dimension it can reach. So, for um, if you want to pause in here, uh, do it right now. It should be good to see. Um, so, A is the total height it can reach. It would be uh, above 3.2 meters. The um, from the center of rotation, it's the C value minus 410. That's the uh, center that's the center of rotation and that is the central pivot point of the a2 axis so from that point on it can reach 2.4 meters um, there are some speeds listed and the controller is the krc1 and that's what we're going to have a look at next so i got these two switching cabinets with the robot i haven't had a look in them um, uh, until now, so let me let me get the hooks unstrapped and a key, and we'll crack these babies open. All right, so let's start with the actual drive unit. And uh, I just had a look in here, and <laughs> it is as disappointing as as it could be. This appears to be like an industrial size PC. I guess this will just use this control panel as a display so since it is built in 1989 I'm guessing this will be Windows 95 based so I have to like really get in touch with uh, all of this but um, I don't want to rush things by just plugging it in and maybe breaking some stuff that would be like death of this project before it even started so I have to hook up the electricity in a few days and I uh, have to see if this is running at all. So I, I was told it should be running, but I never saw it running. Uh, so that's what we have to figure out uh, at the very first. So other than that, it seems to be a complete unit. Uh, speaking of the condition, actually uh, there is a bit of uh, dust on the robot. And I could find these few scratches up in here. Uh, apart from that, the robot seems to be in a pretty mint condition. I would be surprised if this wasn't in working condition. But we'll find that out. As of right now, I don't have really any idea on what to do with this guy. I mean, I do have a lot of ideas, but I don't think any of this uh, would be helpful to humanity. I'm hatching an idea here. Just like, I mean, you probably saw the playlist of me con doing the conversion on the CMM. And I labeled this as a community project. What that meant was I was getting you updated on all these small little details I did on this and was going into, into depth. Yeah, I was hoping for a lot of um, like communication in the comments, uh, maybe a little bit of help, getting uh, good ideas on what to do next and, and such. And I think I want to do that as well and maybe take it a step further. So um, I actually don't have any idea on the KUKA robots. Um, 1998, when this was built, I was eight years old. Um, so Windows 95, I have experience with this, but most of them are yeah on the worse side of things. Maybe I can use a lot of help too. Um, I have experience on universal robots that don't seem to have anything in common with this older system. So maybe we can use this as an opportunity for all of us. Um, I would like to start a Discord channel 
And all of you guys who want to contribute to the project or just want to learn something can join this channel. And if you um, think you know something about this system, maybe are, um, maybe you have the chance to help me with um, getting a first start on it. Maybe you know how to program that and seek for a challenge. We can work together on this. Get your ideas out there, but don't have the opportunity uh, of yeah, the mechanical things. And for me, it is just a fun project I can do on the weekends. I have no idea when this will start, uh, how active we're going to be on that, how many people are willing to contribute their time. Uh, most important thing is get ideas out there what we should build out of it um, we could do a comment on the best ideas and whatever gets the most upvotes we can like get in the discord talk about how we do that get a little bit into like methodical process about um, how we start that how we attack the problems uh, and such and yeah um, do a video on all the details that are on the way that would be my offer yeah, feel free to leave any comments down below. Also, I never mention that um, that often, but if you want to get updates on this, it is a great idea to like ring that bell down there. I'm willing to put in a lot of time again. <laughs> this could be a really fun one. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next one. So, bye. <laughs> I mean, you know, when I'm talking about ideas that I have in mind and that aren't really good for humanity. Well, yeah, I, I just can't help myself. So please, please leave better ones in the comment. <laughs> also, uh, I haven't done that as of right now, but uh, when I will be posting that video, you will find the link to a Discord down in the comment section or the video description. So give it a go if you want to have to do something with this project. I would be pleased. So, bye. Oh, ha. <laughs>